I thought it was going to be right, man, hard. Oh, he stared at Wesley Johnson. And once upon a time, James Harden was one of the most feared players in the NBA. His step back was smooth as butter. Step back, puts up the three, got hit, shots. He had the ability to knock down big shots. The three, good! He was averaging 30 points a night out on autopilot. He was an all-star. He was all NBA. He was an MVP being featured on Adidas commercials. Once upon a time, James Harden wasn't just James Harden. He was the beard. Some people may say he was a flopper, but we can't deny the fact that his ability to get to the free throw line was second to nobody. These days, however, the same cannot be said about him anymore. I mean, when you go on national television and call yourself the system, you start getting people to say, You're not the beard. You're not the system. You're the problem. Ouch, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, as of today, James Harden has become the funniest man in the NBA. So, let me roll the tape really quickly back to one day. In 2012, James Harden had a breakout year with the OKC Thunder. He was instrumental in their finals run and ended up winning the sixth man of the year. Due to contract issues, though, the following year, in 2013, he went to carve out a new path in Houston with the Rockets. It was there and then that he broke out as a star in the league, and it was there and then that he made the transition from James Harden to The Beard. He quickly realized, however, that he needed a co-star, so for the 2014 season, the Rockets signed Dwight Howard, the best center in the NBA at the time. Harden was happy. But, uh... After three disappointing seasons, which included a buzzer-beating loss to Damian Lillard, Harden got tired of Howard and wanted him out. And the Rockets front office happily obliged because whatever Harden wanted, Harden got. Well, the Beard then tried leading the team by himself for a year, but he ended up choking so hard that he started getting labeled as a choke artist. What did he do from there? Well, he cried to the Rockets front office again, saying he really needed a co-star, and they happily obliged because the status quo was, whatever Harden wanted, Harden got. In came the point god, Chris Paul. CP3 was an immediate success for the team. I mean, in the playoffs that season, they were one game away from advancing to the NBA Finals, where they probably would have beaten the Cavaliers and won a freaking championship. But unfortunately, Harden choked again. After losing again the following year, he got sick of the point god and wanted someone else. So, what did the Rockets do? Exactly what Harden wanted. Out went CP3 and in came his old teammate Russell Westbrook, the 2017 MVP. Well, you all know the story already. A second round exit to the Lakers in the bubble and it was time for Harden to make his move again. Russell Westbrook was traded to the Wizards, and as for the Rockets, well, they got a washed-up John Wall and a bunch of draft picks. At this point in time, Harden took one good look at the roster and said, this. Then he opened his fridge, and the next time we saw him, he looked like he gained 50 pounds. Things weren't looking good for the Beard, and after a rough start to their 2021 season, Harden gave up on the team. I mean, this situation is, is, is crazy. You know, it's something that... I don't think it can be fixed, so. This was the first time James Harden gave up, but it wouldn't be the last. He told the Rockets management that he either wanted Philly or Brooklyn, you know, somewhere that was already established where he wouldn't have to carry the load. Nets preferably, though, because they already had Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, two proven elite scorers. Well, Houston did what they always did, which was whatever Harden wanted, in the blink of an eye, one of the most lethal super teams in NBA history was created. Unfortunately, in their first year, Kyrie was already up to no good, and KD, on the other hand, was getting injured, so they didn't really play together. Then, in the playoffs, they ended up losing in the second round by an inch. In year two, KD got hurt again, and Kyrie was missing a bunch of games because of his vaccine stance. But Harden? Well, he was healthy, but he took one look at the roster without his two co-stars and said, this is worse than Houston. 
He started acting like a diva again, gave up on the Nets, called his buddy Daryl Morey, and said, you gotta help me. And before we knew it, he was a Philadelphia 76er. He played all right there, but unfortunately had to make some shady under the table deals. I'll take a pay cut now, but you just pay me big next year, okay? Or something like that was the deal that Harden made with his friend Maury. Well, after a disappointing Game 6 and 7 loss against the Celtics, came the 2023 offseason. Maury didn't want to pay him big, and when that happened, Harden picked up his player option and demanded a trade to the Los Angeles Clippers. And when that didn't happen immediately, Harden was unhinged and went completely crazy. Maury is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization Sheesh, guys. Harden literally woke up that morning and chose violence. Eventually, he did end up getting traded to the Clippers, and you know what? Even up until now, I'm still completely baffled because Harden got what he wanted again. This man literally gets everything he wants all the time, except in the playoffs when his team season is on the line. <laughs> all jokes aside, He's now back home in California playing with the Clippers and with his old pal Russell Westbrook. The dust had settled, another beginning was about to start, and it was a new chapter for James Harden. But just when we thought the drama was all done and over with, he decides to say this in his opening interview with his new team. I'm not a system player, I am a system. I'm not a system player, I am the system. Who says something like that? <laughs> You know, maybe if he won, like, multiple championships, a finals MVP, and had a record of completely dominating the league like Shaq, Kobe, LeBron, or Curry, he could maybe get away with saying that. But this is a man who time after time after time choked when things mattered the most. Like, just time and time and time again, he manages to mess up when the lights are at the brightest. Then, to make matters even worse, after getting traded to the Clippers, he goes on to lose four straight games. They went from 3-1 and one without him to 3-6 and six with him. It doesn't get any funnier than this. Unless the Clippers end up missing the playoffs or something like that, if that happens, James Harden is literally going to become a meme. Like, can y'all imagine? <laughs> and uh, it's not going to end there either because... This is Harden's contract here. The Beard doesn't have any more years in his current contract after the 2024 season, which then begs the question, what's next for the 2018 MVP? Who's going to pay for his services considering what he's done to his last three teams? I mean, it's a bit of a pickle because he's still a decent regular season player, but he's probably going to be asking for the max or pretty close to the max. Then once you do pay him, you'll have no idea which Harden shows up. You're hoping for a motivated Harden, but a fat Harden or a lazy Harden could just as easily appear. And once that happens, you'll be saying to yourself, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> 